Flora Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day. And this is day two in Coronado at this little adorable apartment complex. And I wanted to take a minute to try and explain to you my process with mounding. And it's hard because it's kind of like, I've said this before, it's like grandma's cinnamon rolls. It's, it just sort of happens. Uh, and this is something that you really need to experiment with in your own gardens, okay? It's trial and error. But for the sake of assisting you in your planning, this is two yards of soil. Two big trucks, like pickup truck beds full of dirt. And therefore we will be using four total because we have both sides of this complex so what i recommend that you do is start with your soil all in one place sort of left or right of center in your in your bed or in your arrangement and think about where you're going to be planting and start moving the soil around into the general areas where you anticipate planting and as you do that you're going to begin to see a shape start to form that's what I do. I don't know going in exactly where my mounding is going to be. It could happens in real time. So by moving some soil to the back of this bed and over here around this lamp post uh, and to the front, I'm beginning to see and it's starting to take shape in my mind. So I want the majority of my mound in this area here. I've established that because this is the heaviest piece of this flower bed. Um, we have the, the light pole here, which has been here since like the 40s, so it's staying. And thank God it's not dead set in the middle. Uh, and that's got, given me some visual weight. I also have these junipers on either side uh, flanking. So I feel like this is the area where I want the bulk. Bless you, Hannah. I feel like this is the area where I want the bulk of my mouth. So I am in the process now of breaking, breaking it up and I'll probably spend about a half an hour just moving the dirt around until I get it the way I want it before I stage the boulders. I hope this has been helpful. This has been Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day and day two in Coronado. Go. Um, um, um.